Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Spyro the Dragon. I'm Pwnshop135. In the last episode, we did not a double header, but a triple header. We did Lofty Castle, sorry, I've blanked on it. Fought Jacques and tackled Icy Flight. And now we're gonna head off to the next world. Plop. Amos the Balloonist. Nice job collecting so much stolen treasures, but beware, Spyro. Nasty's World is not the most friendly place you will find. Alright, we can go to Nasty's World if you've accumulated 6,000 gems. I don't know if I covered it, but... Yeah. Meanwhile, we're sitting at 10,000. I think we're doing all right for ourselves. Anyway, here we are. Nork Nexus. Nasty's world. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten and a half thousand. Anyway. Got all this treasure here. Have a uh, new fodder, which is rats. Surprisingly not ugly. Anyway, um, gonna talk to this dragon, Deblin. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro, and you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Right. We also have gems over here, which each time you come out of one of these worlds, you get 75 treasure. So, yeah. Anyway, we can talk to this balloonist, Hack, and he'll take us back anywhere where we need to go. So, we'll stay here. And we have... Four, uh, three dragon heads similar to uh, Toasty's dragon head can barely make out what's in there so anyway gonna start with Nort Cove Come on, baby, you can do it. Come on. Ooh, uh oh. Oh no, I just realized I didn't save. Okay. Finally got it to work. This is like the next day after recording. Uh, that previous part so before we get into Nork Cove we'll go over something um, yeah I didn't save in between recording sessions so where this file is at is not too long after we completed the Dreamweavers hub world so there's still all the levels in Dreamweavers so we're sitting at 62 dragons, 83 treasure, and 75%. So I will go back and get all that off camera, but for right now we're just going to plow through. All right, so Nork Cove, we got new enemies. These Nork uh, barrel chuckers. Just going to call them barrels. Anyway, we can tackle those barrels right back at them, and they explode. We have these Nort Wrench Monkeys. I don't know what they're called. Um, that guy, we can either charge this barrel back at him, or we could just do that. And the only way to take out these barrel guys is to blow them up. 
checks out. Alright. Treasure. TNT barrel. And this guy is a Nort TNT. Blow up the TNT barrel, and then we could either shoot a barrel back at him, or we could just get slapped. You know, torch him while he's in his undies. Thank goodness there's a rat here trying to climb the wall. Alright, this guy will chuck TNT barrels. Oh, I think I just uh, skipped ahead. Yeah, I skipped ahead. Uh, I'll save that dragon in a little bit. I didn't know you could skip ahead. Hang on while I sort this out where the get where you're supposed to go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come down here, and you have to deal with this uh, barrel guy or these barrel guys. Ouch. And then here's where the guy's throwing the TNT barrel at you. Will rescue Latif. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Yeah, that's kind of one of the uh, the running. I don't know if you'd call it a gag or not, but here in Nork uh, Nork Nexus. All the dragons we save are repeat dragons. And some of them have different voices. Anyway, take out that strong chest. We can get a tenor for our troubles. Come here. And get a free life. walked off the cliff. Right. Oh, I did walk off. Well, I'm sunk. Get it because it's water. <laughs> Alright. Alright. This guy will blow up these rats. Alright. Nothing we can do about this strong chest here. Just love knocking these barrels at him. It's fun. Oof. Okay, alright. Anyway, um This is how we take care of this straw box. What's great about this level is there's little to no backtracking whatsoever. Like, you know, when it comes down to all these strong chests or, you know, lock boxes, we have to go find a key or find a rocket or get a power up. That allows us to deal with that. No, no, here we take care of them almost instantaneously.
Yeah, that would just sets, a whole, sets off a whole chain reaction. And I'm going to take a stab and say this is Tomas. Yep, Tomas. Wow! I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe! <laughs> And that insult is actually a, uh, well, I say insult, but the whole you gotta believe line that Spyro says is a direct nod to uh, another PlayStation title, Parappa the Rapper. Alright. So we're gonna start a chain reaction. Oh, love that. Alright, now we have three ways to go. So we're going to go to the right first. I was about to say, anytime that barrel can pop back up. Okay, yeah, got him indirectly. I think this is actually progress. Seriously? Why? Oh. Yeah, this is progress. I didn't mean to go through it this way. Anyway, go through the right, and that leads you to the return, return home portal. Again, we don't want to go here just yet. Alright, this time we're going to go right down the... well... Okay, alright, I was about to say right down the middle, I don't think we can, but yeah, we can. Because, I mean, yeah. Okay, that should be good. Oh, look at that trifecta shot. I don't know why that random barrel was just, is just sitting there. Anyway, we get a key for our troubles. Go up here for the final route. Ooh! That barrel set off the fireworks uh, basket. Sadly, we can't use this barrel to take out that lockbox. What? Um. Okay. Um, that, I mean that both, both ways. K as in the letter K, you know, short for OK, and K as in, Sp in Spanish as in what? Um, okay, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna take that. Alright, here we are back in Nort Cove. Um, yeah, as you can see, I didn't pick up any treasure. I just saved the dragon just so I could save my game. Anyway, clearing Nort Cove gets us access to the next dragon mouth. us access to the next dragon mouth which is twilight harbor one of my favorite levels and it also nets us another 75 gems so now we're at 125 out of 200 so into twilight harbor we go and i apologize if this red and orange and yellow is going to be like very offensive to your eyes 
Anyway, we have Nork soldiers. These guys actually fire guns. I think they got censored in the Reimagined Trilogy and just like paintball bullets. Or paint bullets. But these are actual bullets. Yeah, the 90s were, oh, were nutso. Oh crap. Alright, now we have Nort Commandos. These guys will cut you with a knife if you get close and chuck grenades until you get close. Oof! Ow! Come on, dude! Yeah, this is the level where I'm going to die the most. Because those commandos play dirty. Best thing to do is to rush them. So you can stop them before they get uh, before they uh, get the distance. All right, anyway, before we go across, I'm gonna check these this corner. All right, that's it. All right. And then we have uh, machine gunners, Nork machine gunners. All right. Uh oh. All right, finally get back to fodder, as well as the first dragon. Rescued Cosmos. Thank you for releasing me. Get out of here. Oh, just... Now is not the time for any of that garbage. Ilagos already made me mad. Because I wouldn't plan on a recording today until I saw that the game was working enough for me to go into Nork Cove. And then Alago said, Hey, you want to record now? <laughs> nope. First, it starts with only getting one side of audio out. I can only get the I could only get the right side. Then when that finally uh, clears up, suddenly it doesn't want to read the picture. Anyway, got a bridge, got a supercharged ramp. We're going to come up here and there's some goodies for us. Now, I'm going to take this supercharge. I'm just going to go. And bam! This dragon. Cletus. Be on the lookout for North Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. Oh, trust me, buddy, they are. Anyway, we're gonna hit this lever, get the bridge up. And then we wanna come to the top of this supercharged platform. Totally with it. And we're gonna fly! Alternatively, if you're good, you could use this to get to that strong box, but I ain't that good. Anyway, uh, before we fly out there to get those tins, we're gonna check this corner for a free life. Then we're going to check this other corner for nothing. Hooray. Anyway, we're going to go out here and get these third, uh, this 30. All right. 
crossed over the bridge so we can cross. Oof. Okay, alright. I ran in for that one. Okay, the machine gunner has sweeping fire. While the soldiers... Um... They have direct fire. They'll fire where you're at. Instead of, you know, just kind of sweeping. Alright. Oof. How'd that hit me? Got it. Alright. Now with these guys, we're just going to take our time, not rush it. Oh, look at that. They went down together. Oh. Anyway. And there we go. 400 out of 400. That's it. Let's return home. Alright, and with that, we unlock the third dragon head. Which is the nasty one himself. The Gnork of the Hour. Ganasty Gnork. Anyway, we get the last treasure chest, and that is two hundo. So, next time on Spire of the Dragon, we end this. See you guys next time.